Hello all, Mike Logan from AskMikeTheCounselor2.com. Um, I need to get a lapel mic, and I don't have it yet, so I'm going to get a little closer to the camera. Um, <coughs> excuse me. AskMikeTheCounselor2.com is my website, Mike Logan from Logan Family Counseling. I do the domestic violence and the educational stuff. My wife is, wife is the therapist, and I have a website. And I've been getting some searches recently in regards to comparing brain fitness versus MindSpark. And I think the people who are writing that or searching for that information are searching for information about uh, brain, the Posit Science Brain Fitness Program as compared to the MindSpark Brain Fitness Pro. And I'd like to talk a little bit about that. I have both of those and I use them both. Uh, in part because I wanted to see what they would do inside of my noggin. This is a 61-year-old noggin, and uh, it has the usual amount of wear and tear, including some concussions from football and uh, construction injuries and that kind of thing before I did my career change and became a professional. And now I have a 10-year-old boy and a 4-year-old daughter who are causing wear and tear on my neurons. So I have both of those and I enjoy using them both. I think the key thing to remember whenever you want to compare these products is that they are doing the same thing. Brain fitness involves two key concepts that we didn't know too much about not too long ago, neurogenesis and neuroplasticity. Neurogenesis is the growth of new brain cells. Neuroplasticity is the constant rewiring regeneration of context between neurons, the axons, and the dendrites on neurons, actually the dendrites. Neuroplasticity, as I search for just the right word to describe the concept I want, neurons are literally reconnecting, reconfiguring. That's what plasticity is. It's real time. New connections can happen in minutes if you are learning about something that you're really interested in. Okay, so the brain is constantly changing. No matter what the brain fitness tool you are using, crosswords, learning a foreign language, a computerized brain fitness program, you want more of the neurogenesis and neuroplasticity. Okay, Michael Merzenich, who is the genius, I think, behind the brain fitness, the Posit Science Brain Fitness Pro, says that computerized brain fitness, a novel learning challenge using that, needs to be of the right kind. Okay, he is very specific about the kind of feedback that's involved in getting neurons to reconfigure, reconnect, that's the neuroplasticity and the neurogenesis. Okay, the MindSpark folks were testing something called the dual and back task and I think sort of found an interesting result that it increased fluid intelligence and that's really a broad brush stroke. Okay, fluid intelligence is the intelligence that I bring into a situation that's brand new to me and it helps me discover, my, find my way around. Uh, it's the sort of antithesis or the opposite of uh, crystallized intelligence. Okay, so again, there are different aspects of the same process. The MindSpark, the MindSpark program is, uh, if you get it, it's 50 or 60 bucks from Martin Walker's program, MindSpark Brain Fitness Pro. And uh, it's 19 practices, and I've forgotten why they came up with 19. They tested several different uh, lengths of practice, I think, uh, the folks who researched the dual and back task. And they're about a half an hour long, so you're talking 60 bucks and uh, 20 minutes a day for 19 days, 10, 20 hours. And... Um, then maintenance practices. Now, Merzenich in the Brain Fitness Program uh, want us to do an hour a day for five days a week for eight weeks, so it's 40 hours. Now, the cost of that program, if you buy it for one user, is 395. For two users, it's 500. And that's the auditory version. They have a new one out called Insight, which works with the visual, uh, neurons in the visual circuits, and I'm not sure what the price is on that. So again, you have two different approaches to the same process. Brain fitness. I enjoy both of them. I like them both. I like the research about both of them. Um, so, well, goodbye. It's Friday afternoon. Um, I'm going to go mobile one. Thank you. Bye-bye.